the magic hockey stick. Mom never knew why she was sent. Two tickets to go that special event. She just said to Dad, it's for a good cause. And charity auctions are always such draws. My father said, honey, you've got to be kidding. We haven't the money for auctions or bidding. But that Friday night, tuxedoed and gowned, my mom was all smiles while daddy just frowned. They went to that auction and kept their hands low till mother reached up to straighten her bow. The auctioner spotted her hand in the air and shouted out, sold, to the women back there. My father blacked out and when he awoke, he looked up at my mom and said, are we broke? All she could say was, it happened so quick and now we're the owners of Wayne Gretzky's stick. It might not be something that you would have bought her, but think of the joy it will bring to your daughter. At breakfast, mom asked me if I could explain how great was this Gretzky, the player named Wayne. I told her that Wayne was the best of all time and how he just scored 99-9. Then dad butted in, let's make one thing clear. The stick's not a toy, it's not to leave here. It cost us a fortune, so please don't you take it. I'd go through the roof if someone should break it. But one day the pull of that stick got too strong, and though what I did was terribly wrong, I took down that stick with Wayne's autograph and hid it inside my long neck giraffe. I went to the rink and down to the ice, where some people pointed and others looked twice. Even my teammates had a good laugh. I must have looked odd with that old stuffed giraffe. But out on the ice on my very first shift, I suddenly knew I had a great gift. As soon as I touched it, it wasn't the same. That stick changed my style. It changed my whole game. And as my first shot whizzed past the goalie, I heard him exclaim, gee whiz, holy moly. Nobody noticed the name on my stick. But that very day, I scored a hat trick. I'd sneak the stick out whenever we played. I can't even count all the goals that I made. I'd always score once, and more often twice. That magical stick was quite a, a device. Then after each game, I sneaked the stick back. Thank goodness my parents weren't ones to keep track. But while I was, I was having the fabulous season, Wayne had stopped scoring and I, and I knew the reason. Game after game, he just couldn't score. One game, then two games, then three games and more. I read all the papers, the writers were rough. They wrote that Wayne Gretzky had lost his best stuff. They said that Wayne was too old, once so great and admired, was now just too slow, too old and too tired. Oh, how I fumed to hear such things said. I tossed and I turned and I writhed in my bed. And then as I fell into deepening slumber, a voice said to me, return the man's lumber. That stick meant the world to me and my team. But who could ignore such a voice in a dream? And then I remembered that warning from dad. If that stick should vanish, he'd really be mad. But I didn't care. I made my decision. I knew what to do. I now had a mission. I go to the garden and ask to see Wayne. I knew I had something to ease all his pain. The man at the door was a fellow named Bob and letting me in could have cost him his job. But he was a fan as well as a guard. He told me, be kind. Wayne's taking this hard. Wayne was way down, way down in the dumps. It's bad, he said sadly, the worst of all slumps. Then I took the stick from my trusty giraffe. Wayne saw I was signed with his own autograph. I said, it's the stick that scored 99.9. I want you to have it, it's not really mine. It's made me much better, I'm now my team's star. I'm sure it will bring you out the star that you are. Now Wayne always welcomed a timely assist, so he laid his strong hand on my little girl wrist. But what about you girl, the stick helps you score? But I said that I thought that it needed much more. He said, you're most kind, and then with a laugh, the great one asked me for my autograph. In our final game, we played well and won. Still, I was more pleased with what I had done. I had pulled Wayne right out of his slump and helped him get over a thousand goal hump. As for that stick and how much it's worth, it's now the most famous stick on the earth. It's up in Toronto encased in a shrine 
that stick with two names, Wayne Gretzky's and mine.